Good morning. Today we're looking at John chapter 1 verses 15 to 18. John's audience here would have had an idea of God's graciousness from Old Testament history. He'd rescued an entire nation, gave them a land, protected them, gave them the law, revealing his heart and character towards an undeserving people. He'd not done that for any other people. No other nation had a way back to God. It was amazing. There had been a cycle of repentance followed by God's mercy and forgiveness for thousands of years. And John the Baptist may have seen to be just the latest of the prophets, but John was actually a contemporary of Jesus. The time had come for something more permanent, which would break that cycle and exclusivity. As New Testament Christians, we can overlook the old expression of grace only to the Jews as being gracious, which it was. It's only diminished in the sense that it's been far surpassed by the giving of himself to everyone, Jews and Gentiles alike. In Christ, we don't just know about God. We don't need to fill in the gaps by imagining what this God might be like in person, because he came in person. The good news is that everything was already in place at the time of writing, and they'd already been given everything necessary. They just needed to accept it for themselves and live in the reality of it. This wasn't a reserve option, just in case the cycle of repentance and grace broke down too many times. Christ had been there as long as God the Father had been there. The only question had been one of timing. Grace is grace because we don't need to do anything to bring it about. The truth is that no one could have done anything to bring about God's plan of salvation because it pre-existed everyone and everything. Let's just savour that truth and... Have a blessed day. Thank you.